Hi, welcome to GeoDredging. My name is Jeff O'Banion, and today I'll be demonstrating a geotube dewatering test, otherwise known as a GDT. To do this test, you will need a scaled-down geotube bag. This bag is made out of GT500 material, which is the same material that we use in the field on the larger geotubes, and the same material that the RDT disc is made out of from our previous tests. What's important when assembling your GDT test is that the bag can remain suspended within the container so that water can come out of all the surface area of the bag, and not just through at the bottom like in the RDT test. For this particular example, I have 16 liters of the same raw material that we used in our previous RDT, and we'll be using the same data and dosing that we achieved from our deal flock when testing with the RDT. When you administer your polymer, make sure you do it in a single dose into a well-mixed sample. To mix your sample, pour everything back and forth roughly three to five times until your ideal flock is achieved. You may have noticed that after the first or second toss that the flock was good. However, it is good to toss the buckets two, maybe three more times to ensure that the flock doesn't shear or fall apart within the bucket before you place it inside the bag. the bag is dewatering very well. So now it's time to collect a sample. Upon visual inspection, the water is clear and it's coming out just as well as an RD test, RDT test. So now we can move forward. We can take this effluent and test it for total suspended solids, a variety of metals, and a variety of nutrients depending on what the job does require. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Jeff O'Banion. Have a good day.